Hello, this video is an introduction to fractions. The goals of this video are to understand the concept of a fraction and also to state what fraction a model represents. All of us have an intuitive understanding of fractions. For example, if a group of your friends go out for pizza and you plan on eating, at some point you will take one piece of pizza and then you will eat it. Well, this one piece of pizza that you've taken represents a fraction of the whole pizza. And since the pizza was divided into eight equal parts, and you have one of them, this would be a model for one-eighth of the pizza. A fraction, or fractional number, is used to represent a part of a whole. Fractions consist of two numbers, a numerator, which is above the fraction bar, and a denominator, which is below the fraction bar. The denominator tells you the number of equal parts into which something is divided, while the numerator tells you how many of these equal parts are being considered. So, for example, this fraction two-fifths, notice how the circle is divided into five equal parts, with two of them being shaded. Over here we have three-eighths, where we have divided into eight equal parts, again, three of them shaded. Let's see if we can model the fractions that are presented. This first one, we have a circle divided into eight equal parts. So our denominator, of course, would be eight. And the number of pieces shaded would be four. Another idea we would consider very soon, we can see that four eighths is equivalent to one half. Number two, one circle is divided into five equal parts. Our denominator is five and the number of shaded pieces, we have five here and then three more, so a total of eight-fifths. Again, you may have thought of this as one and three-fifths, that would be a mixed number, which we will discuss shortly as well. But for right now, we'll leave it as eight-fifths. Here's some additional information about fractions that we should be aware of. Fractions like one-third are not integers, they are rational numbers. Rational numbers consist of all the numbers that can be represented in the form of a over b, where b does not equal zero. So if you can write it as a fraction, where the denominator is not equal to zero, uh, it would be considered a rational number. Number two, the fraction n over n is equal to one for any integer n not equal to zero. Again, we illustrated that earlier, but what that is saying is, if my numerator and denominator are equal, it's going to be equal to one. That should make sense. If I have a circle that's divided into three equal parts and I consider three of them, I would have a complete circle or one. Number three, the fraction zero over n is equal to zero for any integer n not equal to zero. Again, that's fairly logical. If I have three pieces but I consider zero of them, of course that would be zero. One thing I'd like to point out here, a fraction bar is another way to write division. So zero thirds represents the same thing as zero divided by three, which again, of course, is zero. This idea, again, will come up soon. Two more. Fractions less than one are often called proper fractions. So for example, one third, two fifths, 11 fifteenths, and so on. Those are all considered proper fractions because the numerator is less than the denominator. Number five, fractions equal to or greater than one are often called improper fractions. So if my denominator is five and I have a numerator of let's say seven, that would be considered an improper fraction, which would be greater than one. We'd, we should also note that if the numerator and denominator are equal, if I have eight eighths, that is also considered an improper fraction. I'd like to leave you with some interesting statistics involving fractions. Almost half of the dogs in the United States sleep in a family member's bed. Americans throw away one-fourth of the 350 million pounds of food they purchased each year. Number three, the U.S. has one-twentieth of the world's population and produces three-tenths of the world's waste. 
The United States is responsible for almost one-fourth of the world's energy consumption. We use approximately one million gallons of oil every two minutes. Thank you for tuning in.